welcome back. I'm Carrie, and this is Keep It Simple DIY. Today I have a different video for you. I'm going to be making my own Worcestershire sauce, homemade, and I'm going to be using a lot of substitutions. So if you saw any of my videos this summer, I talked a lot about my ears and my dizziness and how that was bothering me. It's still bothering me, but the difference is I finally was able to get into the doctor and the jury is still a little bit up, but we think we might have an idea of what's going on. So I am now trying to avoid MSG, onions, fermented foods, and then citric foods and a few others as well, but those are the only ones that matter for Worcestershire sauce. And I realized that I have felt worse during the summer when I had soy sauce and Worcestershire sauce. So I'm going to try to make my own. So for this recipe, I have some white distilled vinegar. This is a substitution from apple cider vinegar. I have some fish sauce, I have some honey, molasses, I have cocoa aminos, which is a substitute, oh gosh, I have cocoa aminos, which is a substitute for soy sauce, and then I also have some black pepper, garlic powder, ginger, cinnamon, chili powder, and then I'm leaving out the onion. If I had shallot powder, I would use it, but I don't have any of that, and then it also calls for lime juice, so I'm just going to use an extra little splash of vinegar. And this recipe does say to heat it up on the stove. I'm just going to put it in the microwave. I think that'll work just fine. So we're going to start out with half a cup of vinegar plus a little splash because it's supposed to be juice of half a lime. Okay. And an eighth of a cup of molasses and an eighth of a cup of soy sauce or the cocoa aminos. How do I want to do this? Um, maybe I'm just going to pour it. Let me grab a, let me grab a paper towel, make it wet so I can wipe the edge. An eighth of a cup. So if we're here on a half, a little over a half. Oh, let me see. That would be a quarter to an eighth. Let me see. We're getting halfway there. Woo. All right. <laughs> and an eighth of a cup of soy, which is cocoa aminos in this case. Oh, this is great. Um, we don't want that. I need two tablespoons of honey and then one tablespoon of fish sauce. And this honey is pretty hard. I'm just going to use my finger to get that out of there. It's just crystallized. I'm hopeful this will taste something like Worcestershire. Get that lid on a little bit. Here's the one tablespoon of fish sauce. All right, now we're just down to all the spices. I need a clove of garlic. I'm just going to use garlic powder. And then I need just a bit of black pepper, ginger, and I'm just going to not measure. I'm just putting a little bit in chili powder, and then cinnamon. Now I need to mix it up and then get it in the microwave. And we will simmer it in the microwave. <laughs> all right, this has come out of the microwave and all of the ingredients have been combined together. I'm going to give this a little bit of a taste test. It's not too hot. I can say it tastes nothing like Worcestershire sauce, but I think this would be a fantastic marinade on chicken, which is really what I was looking for, was something to put on chicken. So the things that are different, let me set down this spoon. What's different about this is it definitely has the vinegary taste because I put vinegar in it. And you know, even if I'd used apple cider vinegar, there still would have been a vinegary taste. And I don't recognize a vinegar taste in Worcestershire sauce. Let me grab a bottle real quick. What's in here? Oh, it does say distilled white vinegar. Okay, so that's what we used. Molasses, high fructose corn syrup, I had corn syrup, salt, anchovies, onion, garlic, paprika, caramelized sugar syrup, spice, tamarind ex extract, and natural flavor. So, there actually isn't soy sauce in this. I'm trying to figure out why does this taste so vinegary and this doesn't. I betcha it's just the ratios are a little bit different. So maybe at some point I will try again 
to recreate this. But for now, this I think is fantastic. It'll do exactly what I was looking for it to do, which would be a great marinade specifically for like a beef. And I am just going to stick it into this little pint jar and then I will put the lid on it, put it in the fridge. I'll probably let it cool off for a little while before I put it in the fridge. All right, we're in our jar. Need to let it cool off a little bit, but I think we're golden. This is awesome. I now have something I can use to marinate some chicken with. If you have a Worcestershire sauce that is like tried and true and tastes as similar to regular Worcestershire as it can, let me know down below. I'm very interested to try it. I'm basically having to recreate all of my sauces to see if this helps with the issues that I've been dealing with, um, but I am hopeful. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here and haven't yet, please subscribe. I'd love to see you, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.